Jeez. Good morning. I'm not going to put this down. This is delicious. Hi, Janet. Janet. J -j -j Janet. Good morning, Vic. I missed my radio show today. Makes me sad. Whoa. This is interesting. Hey, Steph. Uh, it's our anniversary. Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. Oh, Lisa, thank you for going to see Breaking In. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Look at my, look at my tan lines. Look how tan I am. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Can you see that? Can you see it? Can you see it? Okay. Um... Everybody doing good? I'm so um, happy for all of you that school is out for a lot of you. Kids are home now for the summer. You get to enjoy sort of like sleeping in on Monday. Nobody's racing around trying to get out of the house by 7.15 or 7.30. Um, Tanya, thank you for seeing Breaking In. Thank you all for everybody who has gone to the movies to see Breaking In. Thank you. Truly, it means so much to me. Jesse De Fritas, you better have gone to see my movie, girl. I know you and uh and and B better have gone to see that movie. Um anyway, we've been in Florida for the week and oh my black bathing suit, it's outside drying. I need to look it up. I got it at water water everywhere or something. It was very expensive for a bathing suit. But Thanks, Liz. Um, but I spend a lot of money on bathing suits because I like the way that they make my body look. You know, I am i don't love walking around in a bikini. I, I'll be honest with you. I really don't. But I like the way, I, I'd rather spend a lot of money on bathing suits and feel good than buy cheap bathing suits and feel like shit. Um, so thank you for all your anniversary wishes. I I really, really, really appreciate that. Today is Michael and I's 11, oh, just add water. Is that what it is, Liz? Pfft. I'm like, water, water, water. Uh, I don't know. It's at the summit. Everything but water. Something with water in the title. It's at the summit, okay? Jesse, you better go. I'm quizzing you. You think I'm playing with you. Um. Anyway, oh, Christina, please go to the movie. Please go, please. Um, all right, so, uh, and Liz, Neck, you better go to see my movie too. Get a sitter for those little cuties and go. Take your husband. Um, all right, so it's our 11-year anniversary, and I will be very honest with you. There were a lot of times that I didn't think we were going to make it. I think there was part of me that always sort of believed we would, but there was part of me that didn't think we would, if that makes sense. Um, so here is what I want to tell you. First and foremost, there is a reason that people constantly congratulate you on your wedding anniversary, on your anniversary. And it's because it's tough as shit to stay married. Um, Mandy, I was not in a movie, Georgia. The name of the movie is Breaking In. I created it and I produced it, but I am not in it. Although my voice is the pizza voice. So when you go see the movie, listen for the pizza voice. It's me. Um, yeah, the cuties can come stay at my house, Liz. Absolutely. Tomorrow afternoon, go see a matinee and bring me those babies. 100% they can play with my kids. Um, anyway, back to the anniversary. So there's a reason that people congratulate you. And it's because it's hard as shit to stay married. That's just the truth. Like when people are like, 10 years, ooh, congratulations. Yeah, 10 years you have not killed each other. 10 years you have worked through all the whatever. Um, 
as we celebrate 11 years, here are the things that I know. I know that love is not enough. If it was, nobody would get divorced. Love is not enough. It's necessary, some form of love, even friendship love is necessary, but it's not enough. Um, I know that the notion that you will be having amazing, passionate sex every night because you live together and sleep in the same bed and all that is crap. Um, it's just not real. Your sex life, like any other part of your marriage, takes work. You would think, hey, I love this person. I've committed my life to them. I find them very attractive. I love the way they smell. You would think that passionate sex would come all the time. You would think. But no, that's not how it works. And you have to work on your sex life. You have to put the work in. You have to initiate when you don't want to. You have to say yes when you don't want to. You have to uh, shave your legs and your crotch and, you know, occasionally step outside your comfort zone. And, you know, I mean, like you really gotta, you gotta like put the work in. Um, the other thing I know is that when you marry someone, you marry their entire family for better or for worse. And people don't tell you that either, but that is the truth. I am married to Michael and I inherited his parents and his brothers and their wives and their children. And, you know, he, he inherited my sisters and their marital people and my brother now and my mom my stepdad and you know all of that is all okay so it's not like you just you know if you're if you're engaged to somebody and you can't stand their brother or you can't stand their mother or whatever you don't marry them and those people just poof disappear no no that person now becomes your in-law uh-huh same name all that shit okay the other thing that I know for sure is that my husband or my marriage does not define me. I would still be me uh, if I wasn't married. I don't feel like not being married makes you some sort of martyr or gives you a scarlet X or whatever. I think that if you are married, great. If you are not married, great. Der. Uh, <laughs> And um, anybody who is not married should not feel bad about the fact that they are not married. It is not for everybody. Uh, jumping out of airplanes is not for everybody. Uh, wrestling alligators, not for everybody. Uh, going into the ocean, not for everybody. Uh, committing your life to someone uh, and putting constant work in just to get laid is not for everybody. So salute, thank you, Joyelle, salute to a happy marriage, but also salute to uh, people who are not married. Um, the other things that I know about uh, marriage is that um, this is very important that you listen to me. This is very important to me. This is the most important thing I can tell you about how I feel. Ready? You are not the mistakes of your spouse. You are not the infidelity of your spouse. You are not the lies of your spouse. Um, people will judge you by the mistakes, lies, and infidelity of your spouse. They will attach you to all of it. If your husband uh, doesn't pay the mortgage behind your back and you find out four months later that your home is in foreclosure and people find out about it, they will look at you and go, how did she not know? I mean, she had to know. 
I mean, how does your man just not pay the mortgage and you don't know and she don't know and he don't know and she must have known? Okay, let me tell you something. If you think I know every move that Michael makes, I got a house in uh, Alaska where you could see Russia from the back window that I could sell you. Okay? Um, I am not the mistakes of my husband. I am not the poor decisions of my husband. I am not the lies or infidelity of my husband, nor is he the mistakes of mine. Nor is he the lies or infidelity or Russia, Alaskan house buying decisions that I make. Okay? Uh, the truth is this, so many women that I see on, on TV whose marriages are falling apart, the husband is having an affair or the husband is, is, is losing money or the husband has tax issues or the husband does whatever. And everybody wants to get online and go, oh, she knew, oh, she had to know, oh, how she didn't know, oh, blah, blah, blah. First of all, you could be digmatized. Half you chicks are not even married or digmatized, making fool decisions over a dick that's not yours. So could you imagine the kind of decisions we're making over the dick we, we basically paid for? I'll be the first to admit I've been digmatized. That's just the truth. That, I mean, I don't, you can judge me if you want, you can laugh at me, but I, it is what it is. So there's that. The second thing is, why wouldn't you believe your man? Are you, please don't take your pants off right there because people can see you. Actually, take your pants off right there because people can see you. <laughs> You're about to turn back time. Boop, boop. Um, but all of a sudden, I see all these people. Sometimes I wonder how Mr. Sullivan hands you with two hands. Two hands. Um, but I see all these women getting crucified online for their shit their husband's doing. And I'm like, what is this? A homeboy made a mistake, right? Or he got the family into some kind of trouble or whatever the case may be. And you all are crucifying these women. I am telling you now that I trust Michael in such a way that he could literally have a whole nother wife and family and I wouldn't know. Because I don't check on my man like that. I don't check for him like that. He, I believe him when he tells me he's going to Chicago for business. I believe him. I'm not flying to Chicago to check and see if he got another Mrs. Sullivan and two kids. I don't do that. You know what I mean? So like people say, how could you not know? Because I trust him. I don't know what to say about that. But I have such a different outlook on it. I'm telling you now that if I don't, I, I, I'm just telling you now, if it, if it came out tomorrow that Michael had another woman, y'all would be more mad than I would. I would just be like, okay, well, we need to figure out what this dynamic is going to look like. Cause that ain't going to work. But you guys would be like, Jamie, how did you not know? And I would be like, I, I trusted him. I don't know. I don't know. I also know what do you, hold on. What are you doing? Are you all really doing that right now? Yep. Okay, well, I'll clean up. I'm not going fishing. I don't go fishing. Here's another thing I could tell you after 11 years of marriage. You notice he didn't ask me to go fishing because he knows. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Charlie. Charlie. Charlie! Oh, guys, guys, Charlie is, Charlie is, she's going down, folks. She's going down. Anyway, I don't do fishing. I don't do 
fishing. I don't do hunting. I don't do anything where animals die. Any animal. But that's just me. So anyway, the things that I know are I am not my husband's mistakes. I'm just going to tell you that now. So if anything ever comes out about my husband, any decisions he's made, any business things, any marriage things, any cheating, any anything, just know I am not his mistakes and he is not mine. And and I know that about us. And I live in that truth. Um You have a Charlie in your family too. It's interesting, isn't it? The other thing I know about marriage, and I swear this is true, it really is for me It really is my marriage does as well as I am feeling about myself. For me, my marriage is a reflection of a lot of it, of my how I'm feeling about myself. When I am in a good place, Joyelle, I love you. When I am in a good place, um, my marriage tends to be in a good place. When I am stressed or feeling insecure about myself or if my body dysmorphia is really bad, um, I tend to take it out on Michael, not take it out on him, but take it out on our unit. I tend to withdraw or attack or get snippy, whatever. Um, and I think that's just a reflection of your marriage is what you put into it. If you fill your marriage with love and understanding and compassion, then you'll have a loving, understanding, compassionate marriage. If you fill your marriage with snippiness and snarkiness and attitude, then you'll have a marriage that's fractured. I mean, that's just kind of is what it is. Um, I, I don't mean to do it, but, uh, but I just do. It's part of who I am. Um, anyway, I, I just wanted to say thank you for loving us the way that you love us, Michael and I and my children and I know that you do. Thank you for supporting us. You know, we made it here and we're grateful and we're going to probably drive home to Birmingham, hopefully miss a lot of this rain and maybe go out tonight to celebrate our anniversary. Um, and, you know, I, where we will be in two months or can I say that Mr. Sullivan is my soulmate? Um, I could say that Mr. Sullivan is my person for sure. Um, but we've been together 13, 14 years and, um, there is nobody else that I have ever loved that long. There's nobody else that I've ever been consistently attracted to that long. Um, you know, there's nobody that I've prayed for and well wished that long. I, you know, I, I can't, I can't explain it. I just, um, I don't know that I believe in soulmates. There are other people that I've met in a way that I feel like I might love in an, in another life that I could love in another life. I, I don't know about what I feel about soulmates, but Michael Sullivan is definitely my person. There's no question. That that I know without a doubt. For this life, for this life, Michael Sullivan is my person. Um, hey, Laura, love you. Um, you know, listen, we made it another year. That's right, Tara. We made it another year. And, uh, and to everybody celebrating anniversaries, uh, you know, in the last few weeks or the upcoming weeks, Congratulations, because the shit ain't easy. Um, anyway, I love you guys so much today. I love you so much. Have a great, great day. And go see Breaking In and tell everyone you know to see it.